this Adobe Illustrator demo, I want to show you what your tilde key can do in combination with your geometry tools. Don't worry, I'll explain what the tilde key is. So I have a little sheet of paper here, and the way I got that is I went to File Menu, New. Right up here I clicked on Print. I clicked View All Presets, and I chose a tabloid sheet of paper, which technically should be 11 by 17, but it doesn't tell me that. So I want to make sure my measurements are inches. Now when I click Create, I've got that same sheet of paper, so we'll just close this original one over here. But I want this paper to be more of a square, to really take advantage of the more square type or circular type of design that I'm going to make. So right here, above the hand tool is my artboard tool. If I hold Option or Alt key, I can expand the artboard from the center so both sides extend outward at the same time. I'll go to my black arrow to tell Illustrator I'm done. And all I'm going to do is hit D for default colors, click on my white fill, and hit the question mark key for no fill. That's the trick. You got to have no fill. Okay, right up here, underneath my type tool, if I press and hold, I've got all my geometry tools, and I'm going to start with the star tool. Okay, by default, stars start from their center point. So if I click and drag right here, I will get a five-pointed star. Now keep in mind, once you let go, your star is done. Okay, so I'll delete that. As I click and drag, as I'm holding down the mouse, I can resize my star, I can rotate my star, and as I am still holding down the mouse, I can hit the up arrow to add points like this. Okay. What I can also do is hold down my command key on a Mac or control key on a PC and make the arm shorter or longer while I'm holding Command on a Mac or Control key on a PC. I think the trick I'm going to show you will work better not with long arms, but with short arms. Okay, so at least I've got my star set up. So I'm just going to let go, give my hand a little rest on the mouse, and I'll hit Delete one more time. Here's the trick. Now that I've set up the look of my star, I'm going to click and drag from the center. I'll go big. Don't let go of your mouse. And then while you're holding the mouse, in the upper left corner of your keyboard is your escape key, but don't hit that. Right below the escape key is a key with a little squiggle on it. It's right next to the number one. It's called your tilde key, T-I-L-D-E. I'm going to hold that key, and now I'm going to click and drag fast in and out and make a design like that. Okay, what the tilde key does is it's constantly making copies as you drag. So I can just hit Command-A on my Mac for Select All. That would be Control A on a PC. And I'll just hit Delete or Backspace and try it again. I'll click and drag Big, hold tilde, and drag slowly. And you can see how many copies are getting made as you drag slowly. So I get a design like that. Okay, the faster you drag, the less copies you're going to see. The slower you drag, the more copies you're going to see. Command A and delete it. Or you could try the opposite. Click and drag a small star. Hold your tilde key and go out bigger and bigger and bigger and then back in. And you click outside and you've got a design like that. Okay, so it totally doesn't matter which order you go in. You can experiment 
with hitting your down arrow, making less points, let's say like a four point, hold my command key, make the points a little longer like that. Now I hold my tilde key and I drag that in like so. We'll drag back out and I get a design like that. So it all depends on how you drag and how fast you drag and the shape of your original star. So I'll hold tilde and just keep going in a circle right here. And then I get a design like that. Okay, design is totally up to you. I click and drag, hit my up arrow key, hold my command key, make the arms a little longer like that, tilde key and drag in and out and in and out like that. And then I get these unique design relationships. Now that works better with a star because it has more points. A rectangle would work. Hold my tilde key and drag. And all it's doing is copying a bunch of rectangles like that. Might be good for a grid kind of structured layout. It'll work on any of these geometric shapes. I'll go with an ellipse. Click and drag. Now I hold tilde key. Click and drag almost looks like a slinky. Maybe a cool design for the cover of a geometry book. But that's what an ellipse will do. Here's what a polygon will do. Polygons start from their center. Hold the tilde key and drag that in. Right there. And we get that kind of polygonal shape. But the polygon is like the star. When I click and drag and hit the up arrow, I could add more points, then hold my tilde key and go down into the center like that. I get a nice spiral effect. And you also have your star. Flare tool doesn't work like that. You, know, you click and drag, hold your tilde key, it's not gonna do it. Flares work on dark backgrounds. They don't work on a white sheet of paper. Okay, but star works better. Or right up here is your line segment tool. If I go in with a spiral like this, hold my tilde key and drag, get some cool effects right there in the center as it unwinds itself. So let's try that again. Click and drag big. I'll hold my space bar and center it. Tilde key and I'll go out like this in that direction. It looks like this tunnel just kind of winding through there. Command A and delete. Or if I click and drag big and go in the opposite direction like this and wind it down in between right in here. Get some really cool twisting designs going on with the spiral tool. Totally up to you as to what you want to do here in Illustrator. So I'll try the polar grid. It's like the star tool as well. As I click and drag, I can hold my space bar and reposition it. As I'm holding the mouse, up arrow adds circles. Right arrow takes away the lines. Or I'm sorry, the left arrow takes away the lines. The right arrow adds lines to my grid like this. Now I hold tilde and I click and drag. Whoa, I didn't know I was going to do that. But there are so many lines on that, it kind of gets all tangled up. So that might not be the best result. Or I'll click and drag, hold my space bar and reposition it. And now hit the down arrow, maybe less circles. Hold my tilde key. And let's just go up like that. And you get some interesting design relationships. But again, it's totally up to you. You've got your different segment tools here, grids and spirals, and you have all your geometric tools to experiment with 
to create some really cool tilde key designs here in Adobe Illustrator. And there we go.